Good afternoon. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, for this occasion. It'll be a fun deal, I hope. Uh, my name is Dave Keen. I'm the Assistant Fire Chief here in Casa Grande, uh, and I'm in charge of the Operations Bureau. Um, thanks for joining us here. This is Station 504, one of our uh, four fire stations here in town. We have an engine company here. Our hazmat unit is here, our utility, our rescue, and then our battalion chief shift commanders uh, also stationed out of this station. So uh, let me introduce who I have. I have the fire, mar fire marshal. This is Chief Barbara Rice up here. Uh, to her left, this is uh, Chief Frank Ritchie. He's the battalion commander for this shift. He was also the battalion commander that was at the fire that day. Uh, fire Chief Scott Miller. You guys all know the mayor. And we have Councilman uh, Varela joining us. Um, we just wanted to take a few minutes to talk a little bit about courage and, and what it takes uh, to step up during an emergency and recognize this young man for what he did. So uh, our first speaker will be, or our first uh, introduction will be Fire Chief Miller. Well, good afternoon. How are we all doing? Good? You guys doing okay back there? All right. Excellent. Well, first off, obviously, we're here for Ashton and to congratulate him on a job that was well done, getting the family out. I know it's a chaotic moment. A lot of things are happening, and uh, we really appreciate you stepping up and making sure that your family was safe during this uh, terrible situation. So I know that the uh, mayor's going to want to say a few more words, but I just want to say congratulations on behalf of the Casa Grande Fire Department and our members of the department. So um, we've got something for you here in a little bit. I'd like to introduce Mayor Jackson. Thank you, Chief Miller. Uh, you know, Ashton, why don't you come on up here and join me? We'll let you stand up here in front of everybody. I understand you're a little on the shy side, but that's okay. Uh, you know, first of all, I think it's really important to understand that, that, as I understand the whole situation, he was laying on the couch, woke up, realized there was a fire, went and woke up his parents and got everybody out of the house. And I know the fire department every year does a smoke alarm uh, program to update them and install them. And, you know, if there was ever a reason to have smoke detectors, there it is right there. And I, I know you woke up before they went off, but what a great opportunity uh, for the parents to know that your kid is really responsible. He knew exactly what to do, got you out of the house, everybody was safe, and that's the most important thing. So I'm sure your parents are really proud of you. They should be. Uh, as a community, uh, we'd really like to thank you. And I, I know all the fire staff over here also would like to say the same thing because it's much easier to go into a house when you know nobody's there. Uh, so congratulations. We do have a little award for you, Ashton. Uh, we've got a plaque from the Cass Grand Fire Department. It's a community service award presented to Ashton Brown in recognition of his bravery and courage exhibited on July 26, 2016. Congratulations, Ashton. Would you like to say a few words? First off, I would love to thank the first responders and everyone there that night, including the brave firemen um, who put their lives on the line to put our house fire out. And um, I just wanted to say a few things about my situation in fire safety. Now it's important, but will it ever really happen to you? The very clear answer is yes, it can. I never ever thought a house fire this big would ever happen to me or my family. You see it on TV, you learn about it in schools. Um, it's just another thing on the back of your mind. However, when it really happens, it blows your mind. Almost as if you were in a terrible dream. Watching your house burn in front of your eyes is one of the worst fe feelings that you can ever experience. Fires can get out of control very quickly and even be fatal. So in a life or death situation, you need to learn how to think quick on your feet. And remember all the fire safety basics that you learned. Get out of the house as fast as you can because the smoke fills the house way faster than you think. This isn't just any kind of smoke that you would experience from a campfire or cooking. This smoke is much stronger than you think. If you try and breathe a tiny bit, you will instantly cough and not be able to breathe. Your eyes and throat instantly begin to burn, so get out of the house as soon as you can. And do not go back inside. If you notice anything suspicious, please take notice and tell somebody. It could happen from the light of day to the darkness of night, so please be aware of your surroundings. 
In this case, happened late at night, so please pay attention in school when they teach you fire safety. And possibly have your family go over a fire escape plan and maybe even practice some drills, as this can be very serious. If one kid or one family can hear my story, hopefully it can make a difference. In closing, I would genuinely, genuinely like to thank everyone who helped put out a fire and all the love and support from our family and friends. Thank you so much. We also today would like to, th to thank Firehouse Subs, uh, John and Becky, Becky Beveridge, if you would join me, please. I think we've had, got something for you, too. This is a, also a community service award presented to Firehouse Subs in recognition of their generosity and service to the Cass Grand Fire Department, dated September 1st, 2016. And that's really for all of the things that you guys do in the community. Uh, hopefully you will, I've, I've been in the firehouse sub, so I know you've got stuff on the walls. I hope that will find its way yeah, to a, a nice spot there as well.